Hey guys, um, welcome back. Today, we're talking all about pearl cells again because of an accident. Uh, any of you who saw my video last week saw that I did a silicone pour and um, all of a sudden I had pearl cells in the corner. Um, so it got me thinking, is that a new pearl recipe? So I did a test and it works as good as the six ingredient recipe um, that other people use. Uh, I am going to do a pour right now, go walk through a pour uh, for pearl salt, and then I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step mix of the paints of how I mix my pearl cell recipe. There is no difficulty to this whatsoever. As you saw last week or last video, it was an accident. It was a flow extender I was using. That's it. It was an accident, a happy accident. But I, I think it's gonna take the difficulty out of pearl cells for a lot of people. Um, sometimes these things happen. Uh, <laughs> sad thing is, I remember this happened about two months ago and I filed it away and said, you need to try that to see if that's really the case. And I forgot. Um, so for some reason, I decided to pull out that white to use it as a flow extender. And I mixed it with Floetrol and that's all I did. So I did a little more refined testing. I added GAC 800 to it and it's even better, but just paint, white paint, and Floetrol. Gave me these pearl cells. So, um, okay, so in addition, um, I also did a test adding satin enamel, um, and the cells went crazy, like, I don't even know what to think. So if you want 100% crazy cells, um, then you could add satin enamel. I'll walk through that too, but, um, just paint and Floetrol works. That's how I did my silicone pour and how I got those results in the corner. By adding GAC 800, it gets even better. Like I would say comparable to everyone else's pearl pours out there. By adding satin enamel in GAC 800, it makes it um, almost that elusive unicorn that nobody can ever catch, that nobody can ever reproduce, that nobody can ever do. I just figured out how to do it. So come along on this journey. Um, you guys, and uh, let's run through a quick couple tests and, or quick couple um, sample um, canvases. I'm going to do one with just paint and Floetrol. I'm going to do one with paint, Floetrol, and GAC 800. And I'm going to do one with paint, Floetrol, GAC 800, and satin and out. What else could you guys ask for, right? I'm making it simple. Um, 
and then I'll go through all the mixing with a scale showing exactly how much I put in every single mixture. So there's no question whatsoever how I got each result. Let's do this, you guys. All right, you guys, so I have two colors. I'm showing at the end of this video how I mix my paints. If you guys want to follow along, I say exactly what's on the scale, exactly how I put these in, exactly how they're mixed. They're very watery, flow right back in, similar to the consistency if you're doing a pearl pour, a regular pearl pour. Um, so here I have, and I showed all this after, I'll show all this after in the video. Here I have Floetrol and paint. Here I have Floetrol paint and GAC. Here I have Floetrol paint, satin enamel, and GAC, 800, okay? So, let's start with just um, the Floetrol and paint. Guys, we're not going for composition or anything. But see how it's already got the hazy edges like it does with the um, a regular pearl pour? So interesting to watch, but let's just let it do its thing. Okay, so here is the GAC, the flow trial, the paint, and the GAC 800. Okay, so now this is the satin enamel, the JC 800, the, this is everything, the paint, the, whole shebang. Okay, because you guys know I can't let it go. So this one, the GAC 800, paint, Floetrol, and that's it. GAC 800, paint, and Floetrol. So now I just wanna see if I spread the paint all over it first, instead of just pouring into a pool.
So that's the satin enamel. And then just the straight. Paint and flow troll. Instead of pooled, we're stretching it all out before and then stretching the paint over it. So here's the one with just straight paint and flow troll. I got a few amount of cells, but nothing, I mean, a lot more than some get. And then this one is the GAC 800 and the um, paint and flow troll. I wish there wasn't so much white space, but there's a lot of cells there. And then this is the paint, Floatrol, Satin Enamel, and GAC 800. This is the unicorn in my opinion. This is what some people get and you always wonder how you get it and you can never get it. I don't know, maybe Try this and you can get it with this paint. Um, on the smaller one, it did the same. I mean, there's just cells everywhere. This one, the cells did good. I think these smaller canvases, maybe I didn't tilt as much because that's the other one. So from left to right, the just paint and Floatrol, middle is paint Floatrol and JSC 800, and the right is paint Floatrol, satin enamel, and JSC 800. So, if you want to do a pearl pour, you guys, I didn't even want to come back to pearl pours, but that made me. And so here I am. So uh, now on to the mixing. Okay, so here is the pouring and mixing part of this. So this first one is just going to be um, paint and flow control. Okay, so what I'm using is Creative Inspirations Titanium White. This is all this is, you guys. Pretty simple. So I am going to use, tar out my scale. I am going to use I'm gonna use. Let's not mix enough for an army here. Let's mix enough to do the canvases that I have. So I'm going to take some of this and put it in this next one. Okay, these are about the same at 0.5, okay? Half of an ounce. Then I'm going to zero out my scale. I'm gonna put one and a half ounces of Floatrol. I'm 
going to zero out my scale and I'm going to put one and a half ounces of Floetrol. Okay, so I'm gonna mix these up. You guys, these silicone cups are awesome. I got them on Amazon. Um, and after I've, I've now put a bucket in my sink, I drop them in the bucket and I just put gloves on and I just, the bucket has water and Dawn in it and I just wipe them out and it's perfect. They get clean every time. It's amazing. I was trying to let them dry and peel out the paint and it's just peeling thin paint off silicone doesn't work. I don't know what people think if they think it's like, yeah, if it's like a big glob at the bottom, it's amazing and it just peels out. But at that point, I'd rather just dump it into like the trash can. If there's just a little left, try to scrape it all out with my stick and then just dump it in my bucket and clean it. Okay, so this one's done. So this has two in it, two ounces. Stop. Two. Okay, so this has two. So I'm going to add 0.25. GAC, 800. Okay. It says 0.32. I don't really think it matters. But if anybody's counting, there you have it, 0.32, GAC 800. That one is now done. So on this one, I'm going to go 0.25, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so I'm putting my Creative Inspirations paint away. Because this is how the, that's, this is how easy this is. Okay, so then I'm going to go 0.35, whatever. All right, so I have 0.5 in there now. So then I'm gonna go One point five. Um, flow troll, and then point two five JSE. Four two. All right, you guys, this isn't like exact, obvious. Okay, now on to my paint colors. I have dun da da da. Um, I have this pewter, 0.6. So then I'm gonna go basically one. One point two would be double, but I'm just going one just to see where I'm at. 
because I, obviously you saw I don't have any left. I don't want to make it too thin. And also metallics kind of these colors tend not to need as much stuff in them, even though I'm adding water, but whatever. So I don't know that the flow of Charl really matters. Let's just keep it simple and add until we get to 1.2. Too. Okay, so one part paint, two parts Floetrol. Okay, then we're going to add 0.5. Let's see where this gets us. Probably perfect. So probably one part paint, and this is a metallic, so this is going to be a little different. And then I'm just going to use straight cyan. I don't know why I'm like worried about colors and stuff because clearly um, okay 0.75 and let's go 1.5 flow a trawl zero that out let's add Point three of water. I think I'm gonna have to add more. So it just goes right back into the cup. Like it's just very fluid, very liquidy. So that's where we're gonna start for now, you guys. Um, just simple, two colors. Let's just see what happens. Hey guys, um, let's talk about dry results on this one. So let's go down first to just the straight creative inspirations in Floetrol. Um, so while it did produce pearl cells as expected, um, you know, it's good, but like I said before, I mean, when I started doing pearl cell tests, it's a lot better than what I got the first time I ever used the other recipe. And this is just a no brainer, just straight paint and flow troll. So yeah, there's that. So then this one was the um, paint, flow troll and GAC mixture. I wish, again, there wasn't so much white, but, because I think it probably would have better shown um, how many cells were created, but, or how many pearl cells, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, for just paint, Floetrol and GAC, that's amazing. And then on to the paint, the satin enamel, the JAC 800, and the flow troll. You guys, this is like, I've seen other people do this and they get this result and I, I could never get it using the Apple Barrel and Artist Loft and uh, satin enamel and all that. I, I could never get cells to look like this. So, um... Yeah, um, one thing I did want to mention is in the other recipe, you put lots of water in it, so it's super, super, super thin. Um, I found that if I added water, it didn't do this. So the consistency is a little thicker, which allows you to leave your over paints maybe just a skosh thicker as well. Um, but yeah, you guys, I mean, And the other thing I noticed in this technique is I sped this video up to show how these cells uh, came about. 
And I know that when I've watched other people's videos, um, their pearl cells take forever. Like they're working on their painting and doing touch-ups and doing all these things. And it's like 45 minutes later and they still have pearl cells showing up. Where when I used that recipe, it was like eight minutes later and it was done doing its thing. But with creative inspirations, it was like the long haul. These cells took forever to form. They took forever to pop up. Um, but they're also beautiful cells. So, yeah, guys, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know if this is an answer. I, it's an alternative. Um, I, I think on these three that I did, too, after... This is just straight paint and Floetrol, paint Floetrol GAC and paint Floetrol GAC and satin enamel. I don't recommend stretching the white out on the canvas. I think that too was one of the problems. In addition to not tilting as well or as far, I think tilting the white paint off the canvas first, like maybe you would with the other recipe, didn't fare as well for this one. I mean, the satin enamel is still out of control. Um, just the regular paint and uh, GAC 800 and Floetrol is good, but this one didn't really um, do much. So yeah, I would just puddle the paint on the canvas and then tilt it all off with the paint on your colors on top of it. And uh, that would be my recommendation. So hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully it's informative. Hopefully it gives you an alternative. Hopefully if you're having trouble making pearl cells with the other recipe, I think this one is a no brainer. And um, also wanna note um, that I did some tests using different colors of creative inspirations. Um, and just those colors and Floetrol created like cells that were going bonkers that, I mean, my entire canvas was filled with cells. I think I used a light blue or a sky blue or whatever. Um, I still need to refine those a little, but you know, no more chalk paint and all that stuff because Creative Inspirations creates all these pearl cells. Um, I don't know what's in it, but something in all their paint, it appears. I mean, I'm gonna have to do, I, I might do, I have two or three more colors. I might do some more tests and update you guys on the next video. But I know for sure the blue is, the light blue is out of control. Like I was mixing it with opaque white and other blues like Amsterdam light blue and whatever, just to stop so many cells from coming up because they would grow and just grow into each other and create this big, just glob mess. So um, I need more refining on the colors, but um we know the white works, you guys. Creative Inspirations, Titanium White. Uh, there it is. So I'll keep you guys posted and I will let you know what I find out. Thanks for watching.